All right, welcome back to All Things ETH. My name is Aaron, and on this channel, we talk about all things Ethereum. We talk about projects, NFTs, play to earn DeFi, SoFi, and price. And today, guys, let's get on back into Frentech. Frentech is one of the things that I'm farming the very most right now with a majority of my ETH, actually. And so I would like to give you some of the insights that I have found out over the last week. Particularly, I want to talk about the uh, PPE or points per ETH value that you should see on a regular basis based on the equation that has been revealed to us or at least speculated upon. It could change at any time. So uh, based on uh, a couple of people in the rooms and different calculators, this is what you can expect to see based on your key value and your portfolio value. So based on your key price and a complicated equation, uh, around the portfolio value, you should be able to understand what your points per ETH should be. And I'm gonna go through that in this video and then talk about how to optimize. So let's jump on into it, guys. Um, this is Luke's room. Uh, this is from a couple of days ago, so I know he is okay with me sharing this as this is public information as of this point. Uh, but Luke's is one of my favorite keys. Go check him out. In fact, I'll uh, link his key, uh, link to his key into the description of this video below. But let's jump on into what he's talking about here. Um, uh, this calculator link here, I'll also put in the description below uh, www.desmos, uh, that's D E S M O S dot com calculator p equals key price and v equals uh, portfolio value, the uh, equation is such here it is super complicated guys so don't ask me to actually walk through this but i am going to put in my uh personal key price and the portfolio value right now my portfolio is valued at eight and a half eth and uh uh, I've put in about uh, just under 8 ETH personally um, into this, and I've had a portfolio value as high as 10.5, but in a, in a key price as high as about 2, uh, 0.27, I think is the highest. But uh, currently I'm sitting at right above, right above 2. So we'll put that in, um, and that is giving me an X of equals 80. So I have been receiving... Almost exactly that, in fact, over the last three weeks, and it's been super consistent, guys. 80 points per ETH is what I should expect this Thursday um, when they take the snapshot and when they drop the, the points actually on Friday evening. So um, in order to optimize this, go, the, though, guys, is to bring your key price up. So if I was to bring up my key price to 0.3, I should see 98 points per ETH, which is a pretty significant gain obviously that's uh considering that's almost a 20 percent gain in key uh or uh in points per eth but the uh the ideal to get that coveted 100 points per eth ideal scenario here for my key price which is hovering right about two is to have a portfolio value of about half of what i currently have now obviously if i have a uh portfolio value of eight and a half is which which I actually do, my key price should be closer to 0.3 in order to get that. And that matches up with the calculator that we already used. So again, the best ways to do this, guys, is to 3-3 three, three more often or to uh, to either increase your portfolio value uh, or, so, or sorry, lower your portfolio value, which obviously you'd have to sell a bunch of people. If, if you, What I could do is go into uh, to Friend Friend Pro here, find out who's not actually fall, uh, purchased me. So uh, let's see who my holdings are. Click on holdings guys and you can find out um, who's holding you and you're holding them, right? So let's let, let this load real quick here. So uh, Trev, I'm one to one with. Uh, Pevel's actually got two of me, so I don't want to sell his obviously. Um, Vava's got one of me, which is awesome. Uh, uh, Luke's has got one of me. Now, William, if if, if I didn't love this guy's room, I could sell him and actually lower my uh, portfolio value and still keep my key value because your key value is relative to how many, uh, how many people have purchased your key, not how many of other keys that you've bought. So um, if I dropped William's key, I could actually lower, again, my portfolio value by a significant amount, um, William's uh, uh, key price is at 0.35, so that would bring me closer to about uh, 0.8, which I'd still need to lower it in order to get that coveted 100 points per ETH, right? 
If I go in here, um, Sir Julio, he and I set up this 3-3 agreement where I have two and he has one of mine. If I was to drop one of his, uh, I might lose him as a 3-3 partner. So I don't want to do that because of the agreement that we set up. However, I could lower my portfolio value again relative to the price of my key in that regard. So uh, other things you can do is try to 3-3 with people lower than you. Um, that is a little bit tougher to do um, and you could you could maximize that somehow by doing that, but that's going to take a little bit of work. Uh, Miguel Angel does not own any of my keys. If I dropped his key, I would actually make a little bit of profit because I did buy him a low, at a lower cost and I would make 11%, which is another great feature of Friend Friend Pro. It does tell you what the percentage value you've made on these keys. Now, um, I should have dropped Handle John. Uh, I got to put it out there. Um, I asked him to 3 3 and he did not. And that's okay. That's okay. I was actually uh, buying his key to, uh, to get a pump in his price and I could hold it for longer. And that's kind of the perspective I have. But um, in order to optimize my PP, I could drop that key as well. And there's plenty of others, guys, that I could do this with. Getting my portfolio value lower will raise up my uh my my key uh my uh points per eth right on the airdrop so and then over i think we're about halfway through i think we have about 14 15 weeks left and so that really adds up guys so let's just do a little napkin math here right i currently add about 3800 points but if i want to continue to multiply that weekly we have about 15 or 16 weeks left in the airdrop period so let's take 15 and uh, multiply that by the current 80 that we're making that, right? I, I gotta multiply that times 8.5. And if things stay consistent, guys, I actually make 10,000 more points. So let's add that to uh, the 3,800, uh, 3, sorry, that I already have. That would put me at about 14,000 points by the end of the airdrop uh, if there's no other change in variables, right? Let's multiply that times uh, times the uh, the current OTC price of $3. And look at, that is an incredible $42,000 possible, right? Very, very, uh, you know, speculative at this point. We're, we're only about halfway into the airdrop uh, accumulation period. And so if, if TVL stayed the same, if my ETH value, my portfolio value stayed the same and uh, points per ETH continued to stay the same, now I would make $42,000. Now let's run the scenario back one more time and go into what the possibilities would be if I was to, uh, to get a little bit more value out of my PPE. Let's say that I uh, shaved off a couple of those non 3 3 -ers and invested in some more three threes and made my uh, my portfolio, um, my, my PPE higher than 80. Let's actually run it up to 90. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to push it to that 100, uh, coveted 100 PPE, right? But at 90 PPE, I'm making 1350 per ETH. So let's multiply that 1350 times that 8.5 portfolio value that I have that eight and a half ETH. So that's 11, 40, uh, that's 11,475 points. Add to that my current, uh, stack of points of 3,800 and, uh, and then times it by the OTC, right? Of three, this is a thousand more points guys. Uh, that's going to give me an additional $3,000 in points. Thir uh, actually 3,825. So uh, getting that little bit of extra does make a difference over the long term, guys. So I, I honestly, I'm pretty happy with that 80 points per ETH. Uh, currently, I'm not going to be breaking any of my uh, my agreements with the people that I'm with, guys. But I will say that it's pretty awesome to be making this airdrop. And I hope that you join in. Now, I will put some, um, some friend tech uh, codes in to anybody who wants to start out uh, farming in friend tech. But uh, I want to wrap up this weekly update as I'm getting a little long here. Feel free to drop any questions that you might have into the comments, guys. I'd love to uh, reply to any of those. Follow me on uh, Twitter at AllThingsETH. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content just like this. And God bless.